I have a microphone. I forgot to turn the microphone on. And I forgot to turn my light on. See, this is what happens. I do this thing. This. It's got ice in it. It's my first. I'm trying to... And you do this in the ice. I have a microphone. I forgot to turn the microphone on. And I forgot to turn my light on. See, this is what happens. I'm so special. I am. <clears throat> I um, earlier had a... It's a neurological attack thing and I was doing like this uh, both hands and I, I just I felt off so I just stuffed my face with some really fast <coughs> food uh, I reheated some homemade green beans hey sad um, you know you can always put your real name in there so I can actually call you by your real name uh, I do have a discord that I let's see let's see if I can pull up my discord I'm just, I am literally knocking things over left and right. Uh, I am going to be doing a street. Hmm. I am going to be doing... Man, my makeup got all screwed up. <laughs> I don't even care. I'm like, whatever. I'm doing a stream on Thursday. It's my mother's birthday. Uh, I was going to do a Q&A <clears throat> of... Um... Wow, my ADHD is... Uh, but a Q&A of basically, if you got questions, feel free, ask them about my mom, in, in the issues with my mom. In, in no, my kids love my mom. They love their grandma. They know she had issues and they understand where I'm coming from. So it's like, whatever. So back to this, what I started the thing is. Um, stimulant, head, owie owie, a little bit, not so much right now. And if you put ice... Hi, Irish girl. I'm doing good. Um, I just had, a, right before the stream started, uh, this is a repeat, I already said this, I, I had a moment where my neuroinflammation, whatever that stuff, you know, medical crap, um, I started doing this. And I was like, okay, I need food. I need fast food. Uh, and I made, I didn't even eat it all. I mean, it's a cup of mash. It's basically instant potato. I put chives in it, a little bit of butter. That's how much I ate. Um, I reheated some green beans uh, from about four days ago. That's basically, it's fresh green beans that boiled. Then you kind of stir fry them in some butter. And I use Irish gold butter with some garlic. Um, and then you put Parmesan on them. And I reheated those and stuffed some into my mouth. It wasn't that much. Not even a cup. But I did that. Then I ate half of a sandwich of peanut butter um, on whole wheat toast. And then, just in case for later, I have that sitting out. Uh, this is a pistachio muffin. Um, so, not very healthy. But it, it's, I mean, for something like, oh, okay, I'm having a, uh, okay. And I'm like, I'm going to stream, so i got to get food into me fast. And then the caffeine is to just make sure my head doesn't go crazy. So the thing I was saying at the very beginning of the stream is if you put ice and then you take a can of soda and you just sit there and you spin it for a while, and I'll sit here, down here, by the microphone, you'll hear it. I'm just spinning it. I'm just sitting here spinning it. It gets ice freaking cold, like fast. Like it's crazy how, how it works. Um, and then I also, just in case, because Kyle's sick. Rob was sick a couple of days ago. So, and I'm feeling just a little bit of that tickle down here. So I have ginger ale, which has got the real ginger in it. Um, it's an old, it's a wise tale, but really weird. Ginger works for helping with a lot of things. See? Sad, you can rant as much as you want. You rant away. Um, so Ice Girl just said, uh, did you hear about the mother who left her toddler for 10 days to go on vacation? Yes, I did. Now, 
I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to let Sad rant and, and then come back to that to remind me. I'm going to have a bunch of people coming in, so I'm like, mm, all right. All right, let me put that over there. Go for it. Rant. Just rant. If you're ranting about Colorado, honey, you're talking to the choir. Mm, I was a travel agent. I traveled when my kids were young. I, I mean, I'm trying to calculate Kim's age when I was... Blink, 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 blink. Hold on. It's 2001. Hold on. 2001. So 2002. So 2002, I started traveling again because I went to work for a um, travel agency called Club Med. I was actually booking actual with Club Med. And I started traveling. So if it was in 2002, Kim was five. So I would leave for a week or two. But I left her alone with my mom. That was a mistake. Uh, again, on Thursday, uh, around 2 o'clock, same time, I'm going to be doing a QA. and a It's my mother's birthday. Um, so if you want to ask any questions about my mom and any of that stuff, how the kids feel about her, or, you know, whatever. Because my mom was mentally ill. But you know, go! Sailor, go! <laughs> I'm also trying to get over to my Discord. Uh, if I can remember where my Discord is, I gotta change my name and... I don't even know how to change my name. There we go. Well, of course no one's in voice. Can I, can I, can I... There you go. I'm trying to find... There you go. My church was a po okay. Wait. Okay. So we have this local missionary whose contract is up. My church was supposed to call her, but we can't afford her. Like afford her, or you can't afford the phone call. I, I mm, yeah. That church. See, I just mm. yeah. Churches. I, I just you know I'm a heathen. I mean, hi, hello. I got the camera set today, so you can actually sort of see it. Yeah, I did see the newest trailer for Beetlejuice, 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 Beetlejuice. And then seeing Michael Keaton, I, it's like, I mean, I saw him in the, the, I saw him in the Flash movie, and it was like, wow, we're getting old. And then I saw him, what was it, the Academy Awards or whatever, when they had Arnold Schwarzenegger and Danny DeVito on stage, and you had him. <laughs> it was like, <laughs> oh, the contract. can't afford her contract oh okay is she refusing to leave is she refusing to leave there i'm putting i'm putting the i got this at the convention the other day yeah in honor of nerfy this is this is little nerf little nerf um so let's go sit on my microphone <clears throat> uh by the way that was my discord that i just put up there i started a discord it's pretty crappy at this point, um, still doing this. And I got my cup of water. Uh, bishops, all we will need a new. See, I got the heart in the way. Wait a minute. Yeah, I still got the heart in the way. Let's see. The bishop said we will. Her a new post, but there is no open post near me. Uh, are you at least getting money? I mean, I, I mean, I'm, I'm assuming if you're a pastor now that you're going to have the residence to live in. Yeah, that's what I sort of figured, find her a new post. I, it, it always blew my mind because we had Reverend Hayes in my hometown for 20 years. And it was just like, these reverends, once they got settled and they got to know everyone, they didn't really move them. And it just seems that nowadays they, they do that a lot. 
I've got three things open right now for chat. Why? I don't know. I'm special. You missed what? Hold on, I gotta respond to Nerfy just let a uh, comment in my newest video. So, which I actually edited, because the thing is with ClipChamp, it, it's got a couple of issues going on right now, and I'm having issues with exporting. Um, it, it, it's weird, so I'm thinking what I have to do is every time I make a video, I'm gonna have to then reset it every fucking time. So it, it's like, ah, it's fucking aggravating. There's Nerfy. Which updates Amber? Ew, Amber posted. Hold on. Just a Let's see, get, oh shit, I don't, eh. I've got too many things going on. I'm bouncing, oh my god, oh my lord. Ah! Ah! Let's see. I know how to hit enter. I know how to hit it. I've got too many wires, so trying to get to my keyboard right now is <laughs> a wee bit of a challenge. Uh, let's pull this back up. There we go. Uh, I am using for my drama review videos. Yeah, it clipped, I mean, it is it is good. It's just understand that it. whenever you delete the videos, it doesn't delete them. So you have to go in to your settings. Let's see. Um, so you, you, you go to, like, you're going to look at your properties for your, your main hard drive, wherever it's stored, <clears throat> go to properties, then you go to your details, then you have to go to the right hard drive or just find it in your apps. I'm pulling it up right now, I'm doing the whole, all drives. I'm going to see that's my main hard drive. Did I already do it? Where's my clip champs? Huh. Normally it's right there at the top. Don't know where it is right now. So I am now hunting for it. Did I accidentally delete it? Nope, there it is. Okay. So the, and then you go to the three dots and you go to advanced options. Then you go down, and you'll see repair and reset. Every time you do a video, delete it out of out of the actual program, delete it, and then reset it. Um, I'm beginning to find out I have to do that after every video I edit. So you can't be working on three projects at once; you can only work on one. So it's like, ugh. so it's kind of slowed me down. I am looking at a couple of other ones. Uh, there's one called Da Vinci something. I don't know. Um, so I am looking at other ones, but I'm like. The sad thing is, I'm paying money for this. And I'm having to do that. And it's aggravating. And I love how it works. I, I love how simple it is. Yeah, it just aggravates me. Let's hit repair again. I'm just repairing it. And then I'm resetting it. We'll probably delete the app's data on this device, including your preferences and sign-in details. Whatever. Ugh. Let's see. All right. Now I can pull this back up. Did 
Um, all right. I always feel free to rant. I mean, you can rant about Karens. I don't care. I love fucking with Karens. I, 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 I just... I think, <laughs> what I love doing sometimes if you run into a Karen is you try to out-Karen them. You know, or, or, or I had someone once, it was a couple of years ago, <clears throat> <clears throat> and I'm handicapped, and I had Odin with me, and I was just like, and she finally came up, tapped me on the shoulder, and I freaked, I was like, ah, what? You know, it was like really loud, and I'm like, I'm sorry, I, they did a hearing test, I can't hear. He's like, are you needing help? Do you want me to find an employee for you? I, I can't hear you. It was so funny. Odin's looking at me like, what the hell are you doing, Mom? Oh, She's never going to lose weight. She won't. Um, <clears throat> my mom, again, most of this will be on Thursday, um, was mentally ill and very, this is, this is why I love I, I, it, for me, it's a kind of a release to just let go and say the things I always wanted to say to my mother. Um, as I couldn't, because on holy hell would have been unleashed. Um, she, she w was so into feeding her mentals that when she got the cancer, she was told, you can't eat this, you can't eat that, and you can't, these are things you need to stay away from. And one of the last treatments before they were like, it's, you've gone too far, um, she had to take a pill every morning, and they told her, you can't eat anything with fat in it. So you need to eat something, just, you can't have butter, you can't have milk, you can't have any of that, you have to have, like, eat some fucking grapes, make a couple of slices of apples, oranges, whatever. It's actually it's actually a little little wrap for around your waist. I have tons of these things because uh, it holds it basically it's my ice pack. So what I do, and again this works really well if you have a headache, uh, beginnings of a migraine, whatever. If something's going on and your head's hurting, yeah, put it on the back of your neck, like right there, right where your head starts to curve up. Um, and it cools the blood going into your brain because it's the back of the neck is the blood going up into your brain. The veins here, the jugular and everything is the, the blood coming out of your brain. And that's why when they slice you across here, it's like, pff, pff, yeah. Uh, same would happen in the back of your neck, but this is easier to access. So you, you put the scarf there and it cools your blood going into your brain, which is soothing and reduces the inflammation that causes the owie in your head. I'm still twirling my freaking soda. Where was I? Um, so anyway, yeah, the one of the meds my mother was supposed to be taking, no fats in the morning. The first round of treatment, which was two weeks, um, one of the side effects is you get a very husky voice and he's not talking like that, you know. And she got it. And then she had to do another round and then another round and then another round. She had to do... It was a total of six rounds where she would go two weeks on this med and then uh, four days off, then another whatever. And we were like, what the hell? Went in for testing. Um, they did the scans and everything that they do every six months. And the tumors had gotten bigger and had roamed even further. Because uh, she had colon cancer and it had gotten an endural lymph system. By the way, once you hit 40, please get your colonoscopies done. It's not that bad. If you need any hit tips, hints, anything like that, ask. I, I've two of them so far. Um, and it's really easy. You, you just kind of fast for the three days before it. You can still eat jello. You can eat soup and stuff. You just can't get anything solid. So you, you, you drink the broth. Um, and then you take the uh, drink and <laughs> into your bathroom. And once it comes out clear, you're good. Um, so they did all those wonderful tasks. She didn't get her colon out. She didn't, she, colon cancer runs in our family. Uh, her brother had gotten polyps. She refused to get a colonoscopy because it hurts. Oh, it hurts. And that, that's the thing with people like Amber. If it's uncomfortable, they don't want to do it. 
they just want pleasure constantly because there's dopamine missing in their, their brain. Um, it's just like people with ADHD. We, we have a problem with their brain, so we're constantly searching for stuff to dopamine hit on. Um, but it's not usually self-destructive like it is with some people, some freaking mental illnesses. Plus, narcissism and BPD aren't genetic. You can have a predisposition to it. Same with addiction. It's, it's there. You might get it. And it wants you... And the thing is, here in America, in the vast majority of the world, a lot of us are already addicted. We're addicted to sugar, and we're addicted to caffeine. I'm not so much, thankfully, because uh, I don't, I don't, I very, I try not to drink this stuff. Uh, ah, the little squiddy jumped. Anyway, back to the story. Um, so... She she hadn't been taking, we were like, what the hell's going on? And I was sitting in the, the room with her. I'm like, mom, okay, so all you have to do, you've been taking the pills every morning, right? Yes. Okay, so were you doing what the doctor told you to do? Yes. Okay, so your breakfasts were dry toast or fruit or, like, oh, I'd have a piece of toast with some butter on it. M mom, butter's fat. You, you weren't supposed to, because what happens is the meds, the chemo meds, attach the fatty mol... So, why didn't you listen to the doctor? Well, I didn't think a little butter would hurt. Mom, you're a nurse. You. So, basically, in her doing that, it, it, it was legit. A week later, they were like, there's nothing we can do. It, it's progressed too far. Her messing up with those meds messed everything up. And now she's too far past. And they gave her like six months to live. And she, that was, if I remember right, that was in November. And she was gone January. Like midway through January, she was gone. And it was just like, and the interesting thing is she, she went into kind of a coma. She fell asleep and never woke up. And um, they, 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 they were giving her some fucking good pain meds. Um, <laughs> the one thing she always wanted, she always wanted the pain meds because they, they, they helped with her brain. Uh, she would steal them from me. It, it was just, it was so stupid. But yeah, no, Amber, uh, she's just definitely, there's something seriously wrong with her brain. Um, because I see the tendency, I see the same tendencies in her that I grew up with, with my mom. And I edit out a lot of the, the me ranting about, like, Jesus Christ, and my mom used to do this, and holy fuck, my, yeah, this is, this is my mom, you know, this, this is the shit she did. And it's like, my mom was severely mentally ill, and it was just like, oh my god. <sighs> but no, she'll never lose the weight. She won't lose the weight until it becomes the point of life and death. Or if the cancer comes back. If the cancer comes back, she'll start shedding a lot of weight. My mother went from two, I think she was like 290 pounds. She was five foot six. And she was, she was, she was, that's the best way to do it. I mean, well, let me see if I can find a photo of her. Let me, let me, uh, let's see, let's go down here. Um, <laughs> Here, we'll, we'll do this while we're waiting. You can see what I used to look like. It was me at 17 when I was working at Club Med. Uh, that's uh, Kevin Von Erich on the right, and then some guy that was playing a cousin. Uh, but no, I'm going to look for a photo of my mother, just so you can sort of see what she looked like. Photos? Oh, this is desktop, so I'm going to the wrong place. Do do do. Sorry, this is boring, I know. I need to get my bifocals. <laughs> Let me know if the volume and everything is okay, the, the voice volume and everything. <clears throat> All right. No, there she is.
There you go. So you get a good idea. Um, oh, well, okay, I need to make that smaller. That's me. Right in the middle of the tall kid. That's me. I think I was 15 or 16. I'm not sure. These are not, this is not my photo. This is my cousins, uh, these two, and him. I thank you, Irish. So that's my mom way over on the far right. So she, she, five foot six, seven, five foot six, seven, whatever. Um, big. She was about two, 290, 280, somewhere around there. The vast majority of her life. Vast majority of her life. Here, I want to pull up another one so you can get an idea. She, she was very well endowed in the chest area, the chesticles. There you go. Let's see. I'm trying to see. It, 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 it's hard because she, she absolutely refused to get photos of herself. And I am now, that's why I kind of, I'm also doing this channel is so there is me out here in the internet. So my kids later times have photos of me. Um, that was her again. Jeez, I'm sitting here going that, that was after I came back from Alaska. It was like maybe two years later and she, she, she went from being probably about a one, 190. It, Cause she got down to 190. Um, while I was in Alaska, uh, yeah, I left her, and I guess she went into depression, whatever, and drugs. That was fun. Um, and then she regained it all, plus some. Uh, I mean, she she wasn't tiny. But again, it it's it, it it's they're dopamine seeking. So dopamine through sugar, through candy, through <clears throat> whatever they could to get that dopamine hit. And what she found was pain pills worked. So she was, oh, I don't have this and I got a bad back and I don't have cartilage in this knee and it did, it did. So she got prescribed pain meds for years and it was never enough, ever, ever enough. To the point, that's Aragorn. Um, it got so bad, I can remember when I was waiting for my social security and Living with her, she moved in. Uh, my daughter had to have all four wisdom teeth taken out. <laughs> the funniest goddamn experience ever. The dog was giving her attitude. <laughs> the dog was just like... <laughs> You've seen the videos. Everybody has seen the videos of the kids high after getting wisdom teeth taken out. And uh, <clears throat> she got, amazingly, she got oxys. And she didn't get many, and she barely took them because she doesn't react well to pain meds. And um, I went to go give her, you know, a pain pill, and I was like, "There's, why are there some missing?" Like, and I did a count, and I'm like, "There, there's, there's like six missing. What the hell?" And I, I went charging down to my mother's room, like, "Mom, did you take some of Kim's pain meds?" Oh, no, oh, no, 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 no. And I was just like, oh, one of the kids must have taken them. Or the dog. The dog may have knocked it over and ate them. And I was like, if the dog knocked him over and ate him, he'd be dead. And I don't think Rob would take them. I mean, and I just went... And then another time, I got my meds. And um, got home, left them on my desk, went to the bathroom, was in there for a little bit, and uh, came out, opened my meds, and started to count them out so I could, you know, doll them out and put them. Because what I do is I'll sit there and put an emergency backup supply, and then doll out like another one, and another one I'll put um, each week's amount because uh, I didn't have the stupid whatever. And I was like, there's 10 missing. I just got this bottle. Why is there 10 missing? It was, I think it was 10. It might have been 20. I'm not sure. Um, and I went 
started screaming at her like, mom, did you take my meds? Like, what did you, like, what the hell? Oh, no, 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 no. And I was like, all right. Then I called the pharmacy and they're like, no, we have rules, regulations. We can lose our licenses. No, that's what you have. Something happened to them between here and your house. And I was sitting there on the phone. My mother walked down. She's like, who are you talking to? And I'm like, I'm talking to the pharmacy mother. I have to report this to the police if these are not found. And she waited till I hung up and I was getting ready to call the police. And she went, well, fine. I took them. And it was just like. Uh, another time, uh, I left them on the kitchen counter because I had to go to the bathroom yet again. Rushed down to the bathroom. ADHD, forgot about leaving them on the counter. Went back an hour later to grab them. They were gone. She took the whole fucking bottle and then said, one of the kids must have knocked into the garbage because then I had Robert take the garbage out. So I had to call my doctor and they were like, can't do anything about it. So I had to go the entire month without any pain meds. And I had bulging disc in my desk, back. I, had, I hadn't had the back surgery yet. I was having major issues because of these bulging discs. And it was just like, you know, I, I, I was beginning to realize there was something seriously wrong with my mom something seriously wrong with her that she didn't care enough about me or her grandkids that she put her self for first Whereas I I'm the complete opposite I put my kids first always it's like if it comes down to if it comes down to it's my last dollar I'll give it to them like I'll take care of them before I deal with my my own stuff I'm still spending my drink <laughs> That's the same with Boogie2988, right? So, okay, yeah, but Amberlynn needs to want to lose the weight, but I do not think that Amber does not want to. You know, she wants to lose the weight, but she doesn't want to lose the weight. Because one of the issues is she's going to have a lot of loose skin, and it's not pretty. Loose skin is, I mean, hi. No, it's over here. Loose skin's not fun. This has got still a lot of fat in it. I can rebuild most of this back up. <clears throat> Yeah, no, it's it's something I'm going to therapy for. I'm dealing with this is CPTSD. My issue is is I I have this incredible need to know why, 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 why did this happen? Why did why? It, it works with everything. Like why did they do that for like history? I why why what was the reasoning behind this? Why why? I've always been a why person. I want to know why. So it's like that's what I'm doing therapy for now. In realizing that it was a chemical imbalance and then finding out that BPD and narcissism aren't genetic. They are generally caused by a traumatic event or a perceived traumatic event <clears throat> at some point in their life. And it generally locks them into that age range mentally. So that they're constantly stuck like Amber as a teenager Because traumatic event happened to her, what, when she was 11 when she got ripped out of the house and sent to live in foster care? So she's stuck at that little preteen mentality. My mother was stuck at around teenager, 14, 15, 16, because um, she got pregnant at 15 with my sister. Um, but that's the thing, is she was also schizoaffective bipolar type, which is genetic. And I have a cousin, uh, she's passed now, that was also schizophrenic and bipolar and suffered depressive episodes and manic episodes. And it's like, huh, hmm. Uh, another cousin, so there were, there were four sisters in uh, my family, my grandmother and her three sisters. And the only one that did not have a kid who didn't have mental issues was my aunt, Pat. Um, she had a son named Bobby, or Robert, who was my son's named after. And he did nothing. Um, my aunt Priscilla, bless her heart, she was a sweetheart, um, had one son who had drug addiction. He had some severe issues. Um... Sammy and John, I, I, Sammy, there, there's something a little bit wonky about Sammy. Um, and then Aunt Eileen had the one that was 
schizophrenic and bipolar and all that fun stuff. And then she had Frankie. And Frankie's fine. And I was like, is it just the females? And then I think, oh, no, Joey was a little bit... Mm. Um, which is really sad because he had a son. And he left his son behind when he died. Uh, which he died of AIDS uh, because of the drug use. It was the 80s. Um, and then his son... Uh, it was a big boy. Uh, he inherited that from my Aunt Priscilla. And um, he was, I think, 35... Uh, he worked in a comic book store. We used to play video games. We played, we played WoW together. We were, literally, I was getting him into Lord of the Rings online, and we were just having the best time. And I got the update on my Facebook that they had found him in his car. He hadn't even, he wasn't even able to shut the door. And he was, he was like four, between four to five hundred pounds. Um, he had died in the front seat, had a massive coronary, and just, pfft, was gone. And I, I just, I sit there, I look at Steven. Boogie 2988, and I look at Amber, and I'm like, Boogie, man, you've been lucky. You made it to 50 as big as you are. Like, holy hell. But it's, it's you're one step. Your heart, because of pushing all that blood through that entire ginormous body, at some point your heart's just going to say no, and it's going to die. And it'll be a massive coronary. You'll have the sharp chain, chest pain, the sharp... And then gone. It was my grandfather, my grandfather, and my dad. Both of them. My grandfather, my mother's father. And my dad and all his brothers. One fucking coronary. It was a boom, gone. And I only know that because I found my aunt through, he was married to one of the brothers. And she said, yeah, he just clutched his chest and he was gone. And they couldn't even bring him back. So it's just like, holy jeez. So yeah, I, I just, yeah, it's... <clears throat> It's a mental illness and in not getting the help that they need, not going to see, because they don't think there's anything wrong with them. It's like the shit that comes out of their mouths. Like they, they say stuff and they think it's fine because what they're trying to say in their head, what they're thinking and what's coming out are two totally different things. Quick little thing. So my cousin, he's gay. I love him. I don't care. I don't. Neither did my mom. But she called, or she called, he called, they were talking on the phone. And I remember sitting there and she went, because he, he, he said, oh, just so you know, I'm gay. And she was like, well, you better not go near my brother. Like, and I remember that this is exactly what I did. So I was like, why did you say that? And she was like, he hung up. I'm like, did you not hear what you just said? Well, yeah, because my uncle, my uncle, when my, yeah, my uncle, my brother, yeah, no, he, he would freak out if you went near him. And I'm like, you can't say that. You don't know how your brother's ideas are now of how you would feel. Like, you can't put words into other people's mouths. Plus, what you just said Basically told him, you want nothing to do with him because you're gay. Don't go near my brother. I don't want you touching my brother. Well, no, that's not, no. I was saying don't go near him because I'm like, but that's not what you said. That's not what you said. But, well, that's what I meant. Well, then that's what you should have said. But you didn't. And that's what Amber does. She, she blurts stuff out. And what she's thinking in her head is one thing. But it's not coming out the way that she's thinking it's coming out. I have I have oily skin. So was, I've been uh, doing scary skincare routine and I'm in my 20s and it helps me with my dry skin. Yeah, no, uh, also the other thing that helps, I don't know where it went. I, I've been cleaning my room, plus I had an emergency where I knocked off because I, <laughs> I had one of these and the ice melts and water went everywhere. Uh, look into retinol and collagen, but you're only 20, so you should be okay. Just make sure you keep it moist. Um, I know some people use, like, Vaseline, um, or baby oil, olive oil. Olive oil's really good for hydrating. And it's a natural, it's natural, so. Uh, so do we want to watch anything? I don't want to play something. I'm waiting to see if Nerfy shows up. I'm like, Nerfie! <laughs> uh, 
Let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. I'm trying to see where she... Oh, it's a bot. See, I gotta get my freaking Discord organized. Okay. I don't know where Nerfy is in here, or I'd be like, yo, Nerf! <laughs> oh, good lord. So, do we want to watch? So, we have Sad in here. We might go to do a boogie. Close. Let's, what's my newest video? I can't believe I got that under 30 minutes. I was like shocked. Then I went to freaking edit it or to export it and I went, no. <laughs> um, I know Nerfy was going to take a nap, so. Good Lord, my Discord is just popping off. Why is it popping off? Who, who's, 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 who's doing what, where, when, how, why, huh? And this is one of the reasons why I don't do I see the constant chirp 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 <laughs> yeah I know and I'm sitting here going how the hell do I shut it up I had it shut up at one point and it's like like they don't have the sprocket wheel so you can just go on it and say hey shh Pinned messages, notific notification settings. Can I just mute the entire freaking... Hello, song, if you happen to be here. <laughs> yeah, so that's one of the reasons why I normally don't leave my Discord open. Is is just, it's, it's a trip, 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 trip. God, I'm just noticed now all the stuff I'm going through for packing and getting rid of. I've got... The whole stack of whole stack of books under these jeans. It is oh god, the amount of stuff I gotta go through. Oh my god. Hey Hello. Yeah, I don't I'm gonna close Discord. Um I did let's see. I have my own Discord, but it, it's a mess. I am legit figuring stuff out in it. Let's see, there you go. Boom. Uh, I just, it drives me nuts hearing the constant chirp chirp, chirp chirp, chirp chirp. I'm waiting for Irish to get a Discord going. I don't know, does he, I, I haven't even, has he done anything recently? Let me, let's go take a look. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Also, what did you think of the thumbnails? Did anybody look at the thumbnails? I, I, I'm, I'm very curious about which thumbnails jump out more. And get people more interested in looking at. Because I'm looking at the let's break into a safe one. And I'm realizing you can't really read it. But it's really teeny. So I was like, mm. The other funny thing is, is I got recommended one of my own fucking videos. I was just like, what? Why are you recommending my videos? Oh, it's Mjolnir. I was just thinking, going, what the hell do I have a guitar? One of the Guitar Hero guitars in my room? It's the Mjolnir I got at the uh, convention. 
Yeah, so he he's kind of it's because Boogie is just I don't know because Irish and um, Kim. Is your name actually Kim? Because my daughter's name is Kim. Um, it, it's just it, it, like even 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 Amber is getting fucking boring. So it's like, and then Steven's just being stupid. So it's like, I'm trying to see. I, I don't want to. Let's see. Hello, Robert. I keep getting a lot of pings on my phone about Discord. Yeah, I know. The Discord keeps, it was going off. Is it me or? Yes. People are subscribing to your Discord. Oh, okay. Thank you, guys. You should install Discord to your computer so you can see when it It is. Up. No. The web page is not this. Oh, okay. So there's an app for yes. it? Yes. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. You're getting grumpy. I told you there is several times. Uh, yeah, I know. I got Streamlabs up here that I'm working at. Yeah, it's not popping it. Like, I, it doesn't even show new people have joined. Introduction, say hi. Eh. Uh, News, updates, reactions. Yeah, it's down in the general. General? That's where it's popping That's up voice. online. Right here. General? Oh, okay. Hello! Hi! Okay. Get installed! Where do I know Chicken Lover from? Holy crap. I hate when you... It's like... I, I, names just... Neat. So, yeah. He's all... He's all cranky. It's been a crazy couple of days with work. Yeah, uh, see, that's my thing is I don't like having a lot of apps because of, yeah, it uses up a lot of the RAM. And it's just like... <laughs> yeah, well, my mom was Irish, so i got stuck with an irish horrific name um i won't even and it doesn't start with d d goes for my middle name so it's just like i don't even i got myself lucky my sister got stuck with siobhan which is irish and it's spelled s-i-o-b-h-a-n thankfully her parents changed it when my mother gave her up for adoption but she was i'm the name her you know siobhan no that's not my name I guess I, I, I went with my middle name. Yeah, just kind of, yeah. <laughs> my mom is Native Irish or Native American? Yeah, I saw that I could do that. I'm just I just closed it. I'm like whatever. I, I don't go I don't often go on my Discord. Um, I just I right now in my life with everything that's going on with we're moving in August, so like I've got huh, Aragorn. Um, long story short, if I can, I had a four bedroom house with a family room and a living room and a four car garage with a work room. I had a work work space that had you know all my power tools and all my stuff, and then I had a uh, back storage closet that was almost the size of a room um so i ended up when um i, I basically lost my house when i was trying to get my social security because it took four years i had no income for four years i and it, it was just fighting for it i was doing some work through my friend in canada i was doing uh, travel agent stuff but it wasn't enough to actually support and I basically sold the house back uh, to a friend of mine who was a realtor and he let me stay in the house. And then I was like, I'm my mom, you gotta go. And then I was like, I can't stay in the house because four bedrooms, the cost of electricity, I was just like, all right, so I gotta move. And I ended up moving. I went from that large property to a smaller property of a three bedroom, didn't have a family room, didn't have a garage. So I had no storage. I had a sunroom, so a lot of the stuff that was in the other parts of the house went in that room, uh, and I was trying to go through it when my mother, because I had moved her about 70 miles away from me, like, get the hell away from me, 
And she up and decided she was going to move right up the road from me. So I didn't get the chance to do that because it was every day, four or five times a day, she would call, Dave, can you come up here and do that? Dave, can you come up here and do that? Dave, can you come up here and do that? Dave, can you come up here and do this? And I was just like, okay, fine, whatever. And then she uh, found roaming the streets and the mental stuff happened and the cancer happened. And then we moved again um, to where I am now. So I went from, I went from 1900 square feet, not including the garage and the workroom, um, to 1200 square feet to 1000 square feet. And now we're going to 900 square feet. And I'm like, okay, I have got to get rid of some of this junk that has just been following us everywhere. All right. See, I almost, Rob's due date was St. Patty's Day. And if he had been, his middle name would have been Patrick. He, he would have been Robert Patrick. Robert was because of the cousin who died. Um, Boogie's been doing boogie things? Oh my god. Yeah, see, I, I'm, I'm, I'm a mad mix. Uh, not really. I'm mostly, I'm mostly British Isles with a little bit of uh, Norway, Sweden thrown in and a little bit of French. Uh, there is a tiny amount of um, Spanish, if I remember correctly. I could be wrong. I'd have to go actually look at the, the data again. Yeah, they get like... Um, that was like, um, what was it? Uh, I, I have thought about naming my daughter, uh, Ethna, which is E-T-H-N-E-E, -E, if I remember right. I, I have thought about giving that as her first name. Um, she would have been Kimberly Connor and then the last name of, but. Yeah. Well, and see, that's the thing. Like in our family, um, we tend to use our middle names more than our actual first names. Cause that's fucking weird first names. Like really like, what the hell were you thinking? And I went just cause I had a deal with it. Cause it my goddamn name. And so I was just like, yeah, I'm just going to name my kid, my kids, Kim and Robert or Kimberly and Robert classics. And now you barely see any Roberts and you have, you don't see any Kimberleys. It's like, the hell. Oh, we bit of French. That's we. Well, it's because I can trace my family line back to um, William the Conqueror's great grand. I think it's his great grandfather, which was Rollo. If you watch the show Vikings, Rollo is my ancestor. I was just like. Ah! which is the guy playing him. <laughs> um, and, and then also uh, I can trace my family all the way back to Alfred the Great from England. It's, it's, it's really interesting, like, looking into that. If you can, if you can. Uh, and you got to be lucky to be related to nobility to be able to trace your family back that far. Yeah, there's a lot of classic classic names that you don't see anymore and more weird interesting names like the one i got saddled with or my sister was almost saddled with where it's like can you imagine being especially in america where, where people sound words out so she would have but instead of siobhan it would have been siobhan it's like no uh, we had uh, a kid in my school which i can remember one of my teachers was like ain't nobody's nobody's name is it here comes Kim. Um, but, uh, <laughs> streaming. Hold on. Muting. You don't want to come in and poke your head in and go, hey! <laughs> No, she's on her way to work. Hey. 
Yeah, no, they've they've fallen completely out of um, usage. Um, like she's thinking if she has. See, I lost my whole train of thought. <laughs> my my idea when I was naming my kids, I don't want I didn't want them to run into the the issues that I did with people not being able to pronounce or spell their fucking names. So uh, they ended up with very classics, and they still get it because now you can spell Kimberly so many different ways. Robert, not so much. Robert's Robert. It's R O B E R T. Uh, I was also thinking about nicknames. You know, what kind of nickname are you gonna come up with? And like I said, I went by. Yeah, Nave. <laughs> yeah, too. Fucking Irish. Fucking weird ass names. Like I said, I'm not telling you what my name is. <laughs> It's just, uh, I go by D. I went by D or Carrie. Uh, sorry, I'm looking at, I'm looking at, uh, funny APX, um, Amber Lynn Reed wearing dresses as t-shirts. I made mention of that in the video I just uploaded. Like, oh, come on, hon. Let's see. Let's, we'll, we'll go see what Boogie's doing. See, I'm waiting for Nerfy to show up. So then I can go into Dreamlight Valley so I can show her what Dreamlight Valley is. Oh, whoa, wait a minute. Was there... No. Deadpool and Wolverine second trailer release update. Okay, so they had it. Who? Oh, I thought I thought it had... Who? Oh, which I would be like, I'm there. I am so wet. I'm so wetty. I'm so wetty. I'm so wetty. I'm so ready. I am so. Um. We put we put a pin in the the whole thing. We'll go into this in a minute. Um, I've already said it, so we can go watch this video uh, from Law and Crime Network. Um, but right now, I'm trying to say happy and good. And, uh, Yeah, no, exactly. What the hell? What the hell is wrong with some parents that don't fucking think about their poor kids being saddled with a name, one, that no one can fucking pronounce, and two, or spell? Do you know how many times I had to send my goddamn social security back to have them write my name correctly? How many times? Four fucking times for my passport. Two different passports. Two different times. You know, when I was younger, I had to send it back. And be like, hey, can you can you please spell my name right? Um, and then when I got older, because I did spell it right, finally. When I got older and I started traveling again, I had to do it again. And I was like, really? Really? You can't Just go. Go. Mm, 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 mm. All right, so we were going to Boogie Tonight. Did I search? Let's see what dumb it. I'm not watching 41 minutes of him talking about it's going to get worse as my channel for gaming content unboxing. You don't do any fucking unboxing anymore. Sailor, what's a good one to watch? What's a good new one to watch? Oh my god, he, he's, 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 oh yeah, I, I've given up on, I gave up on Boogie years ago. He, he, he's just like, he, him and Amber are two peas in a pod, which is right there with my mom, you know, that, that they're never, they're never gonna try to turn it around until something dramatic, and ca cancer didn't help with Amber, she hasn't gotten any better. Wait, let's just. What the hell is? Uh, wait, let's just go to his channel. Do 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 do. All right, so we got do 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 do. Now we get to shrink it. I don't know why sometimes. Oh, I know why it got. Bigger is because I did the screen 
grabs for um, the amber video so I could do the well that's a little bit too small I do know I wanted to sit down and um, watch Sandy's uh, it's a sheep uh, she raises sheep for food um, it's a woman named Sandy Brock and um, I was gonna sit down and watch I already get it queued up so I was like not gonna do that right now Oh, Jesus, we just go to videos. Can we just go to videos? I'm like, there it is. Okay. Wait. Because yeah, I, I... What? Hold on. Because I reacted to a couple of these in one of my last streams. And I'm like... Is he really? This is the the few. I mean, I can't say anything, but I'm I'm not getting I'm not monetized, so I'm like, mm. um, and I'm I'm trying to deal with my own disability, my allergies, all my wonderful crap that's going on, plus moving. <laughs> mm. So it's like, but what's he doing? He just sits at home all day, doing nothing. Oh, it was he keeps losing the stuff. God, he can't even fix the. He he's got a capital K, a capital E, and the E P S. Like, can you? And he's only four years younger than me. Docu series on Boogie Two Nine Eight Eight or on Amber or you can say you were feeling sweaty. <laughs> oh, there, I have a funny story about seeing the first Deadpool movie. Uh, we went to uh, one of our, sorry, one of our local theaters, uh, the Seneca Capri, um, at the Tempe Marketplace. It's a nice, huge screen, and it's got lounge seats and, you know, great surround sound system. And we were in there, enjoying ourselves, like, Deadpool! It's an R-rated movie! This is awesome! And <laughs> it came to the scene where they're celebrating, you know, all the different months and having sex. <laughs> It came to the scene where it was Women's Month. If you've seen the movie, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> From back as I sit in the middle of the theater. At the very back of the theater, I heard, Oh my God! Come on, let's go, let's go, let's go! She's dragging her kids that are like six, five, in that age range. She was carrying one of them and trying to block the eyes of the other one. And she dragged them out. We're all watching, laughing like, and this is someone I vaguely remember yelling out, It's an R-rated movie, you dumbass. <laughs> Why would you bring little kids to this? <laughs> it was about as bad as when I uh, went to see Watchmen. Uh, with Rob. Rob was, oh God, he was late teens. Um, and we were sitting in the theater, and there was that one scene where... Um, Oh my God, the blue dude, Mr. Manhattan, Dr. Manhattan, um, shows up for the first time, nude. And I was just like sitting there going, whoa, nice. And then poof, somebody had gotten up, picked up their kid and swung them and the kid's feet connected with the back of my head. And I was just like, the hell? <laughs> like... <laughs> And they were rushing out, and it was like, this this isn't Batman. This isn't like, what the hell's wrong? Why didn't you check? Why did, we had the internet? You could have looked and asked, is this appropriate to bring kids to? No, they just think, oh, it's a comic book movie, <laughs> and it's like, no, 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 no. Deadpool's not not PG. He's he's R. Absolutely. And so should Wolverine. Wolverine should definitely be an R-rated movie. That'd be awesome. Think of a whole entire movie of the second the second movie with him going ape in the mansion when he was just, like, killing everybody. Oh, that would be awesome to see. Full-on, hardcore Wolverine. Mm. With Sabretooth? Oh. Oh, okay. Yeah, ringing in all, all that ace. Thank you. <laughs> I gotta sit down and watch that movie again. 
Yeah, like really, like what the hell? And you know, you know that dumbass woman went out and demanded her money back and it's like, I've only done that once in my entire life and it was a movie called I Am Sorry to any Koreans out there. There was a movie called Dragon War. Oh my God, that was bad. And it was the only movie I ever, I didn't demand my money back. I just said, can I get tickets to, you know, something else, just free whatever and they did they were like yeah no problem and then um because i went with rob and one of his friends dave and they came out like literally five minutes after me and they're like jesus mom it, it got worse and i'm like how can it get worse and he was like they went to mordor and i was like wait what east of la is mordor and i was like what wait what <laughs> i've never seen the movie since yeah, whole movie when they yeah, but no. Okay, the thing is, is the hell? Oh, I wonder if he's a little squid. Um, I mean, cause yeah, I liked Hugh Jackman. I, I, mm, but he's not he's not Wolverine. Yeah, it might be too tall. I, I remember when the first movie came out and we were on this uh, message board where Brian Singer came on and he was asking questions. He was under a pseudonym, um, but. I remember our biggest issue with him was the fact that he was a full foot taller than Logan actually is. Now, if if they get Harry Potter, and you know who I'm talking, I, my brain's not grabbing the name right now. Is the kid who plays Harry Potter? He's short. He looks pretty ripped. I, I would accept him as Logan, absolutely. Especially he did what was it? He did a movie recently where I mean it was like damn yeah. He's, or um, the Frankenstein movie he did with uh, McAvoy. He looked really good in those. And it's like, I could, yeah, I could. I don't want to see him naked. No. No, because I remember him as a kid. That is just creepy. Oh, this is about as bad as going to um, the Twilight movies. <sighs> Kim got into the Twilight. And uh, we went to go see them. And uh, I can't remember which movie it was. But there was a scene where Jacob took his shirt off. And I remember going into the theater and there was this little kid sitting in front of me. He was 10 years old, playing his arcade game, his little video thing. And it was a bunch of older women in the theater. Because I took Kim out early of school. Because I didn't want to sit in a theater with a bunch of little, oh my god, little girls. That scene happened. He took his shirt off. These women in their 30s. <gasps> and I stood up and I'm like, what the hell is wrong with you? He's 17. That is sick and disgusting. All of you, fuck off. And my daughter was just like, oh my god, mom. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Anyway, all right, so what was I going to do? It's going to work. I'm not watching 41 minutes of Boogie. I'm sorry. Or should I? Should I? Should I? 41 minutes? I'll let you guys decide. I don't know how to do um, polls. I don't even know where my freaking live feed is now. There it is. Is there a way to do polls? Or is that... Start a poll. Yeah, there you go. Power of the internet? Yes or no? Let's see. There. There's not that many of you in here, so. I'm not voting. Really? Okay, it's being stupid. My my computer's being stupid. Something that's a recent update with YouTube and it's wanting me to sign in, do everything. And even in my OBS, it's going, can you please sign in so you can vote? Yeah, exactly. It, it's, it is, it's a balance. So, um, I do like doing Amber, but for a lot of Amber, it's, 
I do get very angry and I get very just grr. So all right, yes. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead. Someone said yes, so I'm gonna go ahead and close it. Uh, let's go back to Stephen. <laughs> it just dawned on me. You can see my <laughs> my stream. Not that there's anything in there that you can really go off of. Let's go back to Stephen. I'm absolutely blonde. I'm so blonde sometimes. Sleep uh, video games. I'm gonna do what I always do with Amber. I'm gonna turn him up so he's moving a little bit faster. Why is it set at 720? That's just weird. I don't know why it was set at 720. Uh, let me set the speed, playback speed. Oh yeah, I know. If you watch the newest video, I completely lost it. <laughs> I I was cackling for a good ten minutes. I I couldn't. I'd come back up and I'd look at the screen and just lose it again. And I had to edit it all out and I had to do it one hour later. <laughs> so it was just like I. Oh my god, I'm picky. <laughs> this what set me off. Her going, I'm picky. Or when I was watching Nerfy's video earlier, and she's like, I'm going vegetarian. And I was just like, do you understand what it means to go vegetarian? That means you have to look at all of your 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 different uh, these things and make sure there, there's been no animal cruelty. That you have to look at your moisturizers. You have to look at your makeup. You have to look at everything. Yeah. Yeah, I, I always, it's just because it's, it's always like sad sailor and I'm just like, oh my god It's just a first name. Don't need to know anything more than that. That's why it's like because I like names Because it's easier for me to remember and mm. What's up ladies and gentlemen of YouTube Boogie 298 coming to July once again through the power oh of the internet and that's what you're listening to It's a uh, 40 how, how long he's that's been his intro for how fucking long it's like dude grow he, he. now yes i'm sitting here doing exactly what he's doing right except for i also put other videos out i try not to do this unless i'm reacting or doing health updates and it, it's just like he 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 did And he always has this, you know, holier than thou, I'm better than everybody else. And I, and it's like, no, no one ever is. It, it just. <sighs> All the goddamn junk in the background. And it, it's just. <sighs> 45 minute long podcast that I try to do every week or every couple of weeks in which I just talk for 45 minutes about a variety of things, mostly video games. And that's what I'm going to focus on today. So. So, how many views does he have on this? 14K. Wow. 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 Your last name's not Hassle, is it? <laughs> That's awesome. I love that. Yeah, I have Frank and Frank. I, I have Franks in my family, so. That's very Frank of you, Frank. Frankie hated when I would do that to him. <laughs> Frank was also, well, Frankie, we called him Frankie because his dad was uh, Frank. Uh, Frankie was the one who got me into Huskies because they had a Husky and I fucking loved that dog. I don't even remember the damn dog's name. God, I'm going to have to message him and go, what the hell was your dog's name? It was him and me were the only ones that could go near that dog. He was very like, I, I hate everyone, which is so odd for a Husky. Huskies are like, be my friend, be my friend, be my friend, be my friend. They're like, I'm like, I am, if you were to classify me as a dog husky, uh, I'm just like, hi, hello, hello, stay away from my house. Hi, hello, hi, 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 friends, 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 stay the hell away from my house. Don't come near my house. Literally, Odin used to sit right there and when we came near the house, at everybody. As soon as they got to the door and came in, he was like, hi, hi, pet me, play with me, friend. It's like that guy who does the uh, the different dog breeds. 
on uh, TikTok. All right. They treat this like a podcast. Listen to it while you're playing your video games, while you're enjoying your life, but it, out playing Pokemon Go. Whatever it is you do, just put it on in the background and enjoy. I think that you will. Before we get into it, I wanted to give a shout out to these guys. Uh, I thought you quit soda. I still don't believe that he did that. Well, I quit soda and he went through no withdrawal or anything. You know he lied. There's so folks over at Tentacle Grape. Yeah, they've got this uh, I buy orange flavored soda that they sent me and I just I had to give it a shot so I let's see if it's any good mm. oh that's not bad at all I like weird sodas and I like meme sodas so uh, as long as it tastes good and it's got a funny label I'm probably gonna buy it I could see this in my local game store for sure again he's only four years younger than me he, he and I had I had an event last year he's due for as unhealthy as he lives, he is due. And it's not going to be good. Because he is absolutely unwilling to make any changes. Now, if you want to get some of that tentacle grape soda for yourself with that big, juicy flavor like Appa Orange, link is going to be in the description box below to their Kickstarter. Kickstarter starts on March 29th, Whatever. so if you decide to back it, guess what? Just go to my store bucks and get my weird as well, And I thank you for that. And thanks, guys, for the free soda. So yeah, no. That, the soda that's lined up behind is he did an entire video of taste testing every Mountain Dew out there. It's just like, you really don't care about your health. You keep going on and on about it. you want to lose the weight, but you won't. You're not, you're not willing to make those changes. You're, you're unwilling to make yourself uncomfortable. Which is, is, I mean, honest, absolutely honest. Last year, this time, last year, mid-March, I was I was doing the whole, uh, I've got to cut back, I've got to cut back. And I was slowly cutting back. I was getting rid of sugar. I had a nonstop, constant headache that wouldn't stop because of the sugar withdrawal. And I found a balance, and I just slowly, 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 and I was, I was uncomfortable. The vast majority, if you go back a year and watch those videos... Yeah, I was, I was, that's what I was dealing with. It, it, it's, it's, mm, mm. but no, again, just like fucking Amber. Yeah, I don't want to be uncomfortable. I want what I want. Get the dopamine. Has kicked off. <sighs> and uh, pictured here right now is uh, a. Oh, yeah, I have ADHD, so I already have dopamine issues. I was addicted to this shit my entire life. Holy jeez. And I was drinking at one point at my worst. I was drinking three liters of soda a day. Oh, it was fucking insane. Now I'm doing this. I'm like, water. And the thing is, in like one of my videos, I told Amber, I gotta have flavor, I gotta have flavor. Buy the stupid little Kool-Aid thingies. Like, buy lemonade, buy apple juice. If it says from concentrate, this is for anybody here in America, if it says it's from concentrate, that means there's absolutely nothing in it. It's flavoring. It's it's not actual real apple juice. It's not real orange juice. It's not real anything. You have to find the stuff that says it's actually juice. Um, and I know Treetop is one of the few, other than Martinelli's, that is actual apple juice. <sighs> I used to make my own orange juice, but it's like I've sort of lost my taste for oranges, so. Verge article says the return of Gamergate is smaller and sadder. Well, I don't think that's going to be the case. I think a year from now, this thing will be fully embroiled. And honestly, Gamergate never really left. There's plenty of content creators, Nerd Roddick, Yellow Flash, uh, so many others, who have continued to talk about this topic, which is forced diversity in video games. All right, this goes for movies too and TV shows. Um, the, the thing is with minorities is they're a minority. It, 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 it I mean, and I'm part of that. I'm non-binary. I'm also a heathen, so I'm not a Christian. So it's like, yeah, in a group of friends, like if you have a group of 10 people, one might be from a minority. One, you know, but they are forcing like... Well, we gotta we gotta mix it up. So we gotta have, you know, an Asian, a Native American, and then an African American or an African, you know, whatever. And one is gonna be gay. Oh, oh then we can have a gay person. Then we can have a transgender person. And then and they put all of these. You know, it's like, but that's not reality, and that's what people are getting pissed about. Legitimately, I have one friend who's African American. Spruce, 
you guys have seen them. Um, me, non-binary. Uh, I know one transgender person and I know one gender fluid person. And I know a couple of gay people. Out of hundreds of people I know. It, it does. It just... Frank Castle, you don't know. Hey, hey, out of curiosity, what's your favorite Punisher movie? Yeah, what I do is because I because of my neurological disorder, because um, I have this thing called arachnoiditis, and it involves my spine. I end up with spinal migraines, and what I do to sometimes keep them at bay because I can feel one starting because I'm having an allergy attack, and it's if it's an allergy and not a spinal one. I can sort of combat it with caffeine, but I notice I'm still working on the same can. So it, it's like, I don't chug it. It's, I just sip on it and wait to see if it kicks in. Plus I have, where is it? I have, um, let's see. Yeah, I am doing the thingy where you cover everything up. Um, it's, you can't see it. It's diclofeniac. Uh, it's an anti-inflammatory. It's a pretty powerful one. I don't like because it kind of fucks with my head a little bit, but it, it's like, but it works. So anyway, back to this bullshit. And we'll, we'll just sit here and I'm chat. To talk about force diversity and just about every. Form You've never seen any of the Punishers. So much now in Western culture. Well, I mean, you are. You don't uh, see so much yeah. in Eastern culture. You know, you, Asian video games do not have this stuff in it at all. It seems like, but Western-made video games, Western-made media, anything made by Disney, all of it is just soaked. In for no, no, he's not wrong. It, it's become stupid. Um, of all the Punisher movies, I would say if you're gonna watch one, go watch the one with Ray Stevenson. It's the last Punisher movie that came out, not the TV series, the, the movies. Um, his Punisher is probably the closest to what the Punisher is. Uh, the Thomas Jane one, it, it's okay, it, it's all right. And then there's a Dolph Lundgren one from the, the late 80s that's laughably bad. Um, the TV series was pretty good. All right, back. Worst diversity. And I, this is the topic that I really want to get into today. And, I have and that's the other thing. is So I, I'm getting very pissed off with Hollywood because, of, yeah, because of this, this wokeism and enforced diversity. It's, it, again, I am part of the LBGTQ alphabet soup. And it's just like, come on. Again, like, so if you take the show Friends, right? Out of a group of six people, they knew Ross's ex-wife was the gay one. So they knew one gay, so that, that worked, you know? It's the majority with minority. It, 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 it's just pissing me off how they're just shoving all these damn and it, it's like, it's not, well, like, it's not, that's not reality. Stop it already. <sighs> sort of biased because I lived in Tampa, Florida during the John Travolta Thomas name. <laughs> oh, God, do you, live in, do you live in Florida still? I I can't be me. I have several, several friends that live in Florida. I, I just, the politics of the state are, are, like, I thought Arizona was bad. And I was like, oh, Florida. Mm. And I have thought about moving there. You know, because I love the beaches, I love the ocean, I love snorkeling, I lived in the Bahamas, and it's like, oh, but, it's De is it DeSantis? I think it's DeSantis, I'm not sure. Wow. I mean, we got our own issues here, you know, but it's like, oh my god. I think it was a 2004 Punisher, yeah, hold on. I'm playing with the ice pack. It's starting to warm up a little bit. Yeah. All right. Really got to gather my. I want to see what his hot takes so are. Much, um, but I think it's going to be. Can the, you hear the majority him? Of the uh, the talk. So I hope you can dig in. I would love to sit around and tell you everything there is to know about the original Gamergate, but I'll give you the, the shortest version. You had a group of people who very much did not want to see forced diversity pushed into video games, and I'll go ahead and address right here up front. There were plenty of bad actors there, who were just angry about women coming into the space and making. See, that's what I remember Game Brigade as, is people getting pissed that women were coming into the gaming environment. And it was like, bitch, we've been here. We just 
we keep quiet because if we opened our mouths, we would get attacked. Like if you were in WoW and they had area chat, you could hear other people and they would hear a female. Oh my God. It was like, no, shh, quiet. And so I used to always be like, yeah, I'm a female and I'm old enough to be your fucking mother. So don't start. Just don't. Okay. And it was, yeah, just don't, don't, don't. All right, I am in insurance. The hurricanes drove me crazy as an agent. Oh, I can, I can imagine. Um, then I moved to Houston. Oh God, you so you went from Florida to Texas. Oh, my. <laughs> yeah, you did. You got I lived, I lived in New England. We didn't get hurricanes as often as Florida did, but we would occasionally get them, or we would get the um, like the perfect storm storms blizzards you know it was just like oh my god i remember 1978 two storms collided and then started circling so it was like a week of non-stop snow it was it was great I missed out god two weeks of school it was freaking fantastic as an adult now realizing i've got to shovel all that out <laughs> i'd still love it though yeah so yeah i i i I like Thomas Jane uh, since I saw him in um, Deep Blue Sea. That movie, I just, I love that movie. It's so bad, but it's so fun. Hey, Jesus. All right, so that, that's, my, that's my hot take on Gamergate, is women have always been in the game. We just kept our mouths shut because we didn't want to be harassed. And it still happens. Even in Fortnite, I, I get shit. And then it's like, I'll sit there and be like, I'm old enough to be your grandmother. Shut the hell up. Or, you know, whatever. Like, yeah, I'll start getting, I'm not going to do it here, but I will start, you know, being mean. Like, really mean. I mean, I am Gen X. We don't play. We, 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 don't fuck around and find out with us. <sighs> video games yeah there were definitely bad actors there but the majority of people did not care about that no. what they cared about was forced diversity and the lacking of no I mean, the vast majority th there was a small group of people small group of people who got all up in fucking arms and all nye, 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 nye. the majority of people just don't fucking care we want a good fucking game that we can enjoy playing we don't care give us a good game We'll play it. I don't care what people look like in the game. I don't care if... I don't I don't care. I don't care. I want a fun game. It's like I'm playing this game called Redfall, right? I've been playing it for a while since I went free on um, uh, Xbox. I, and I, I've been enjoying the hell out of it. And people are bitching that it's not that good of a game. And I'm like, I'm enjoying it. Who fucking cares? As so long as someone's enjoying it, whatever. <laughs> I just... Lord, I mean, can you imagine, like, yeah. we need to have representation, we need to enforce all that, like, I, I can see that shit happening, and wow, holy, of quality of video games surrounding that forced diversity. And yeah, some of those bad actors turned it into <laughs> a, a harassment campaign. You're fine. We're watching Boogie 298. We're, we're watching Boogie 298. You missed a lot of the stuff earlier. You can watch it later. Um, but I, I, yeah. See, Boogie Boogie is like, um, I would say Amber is the female version of Boogie. Boogie, there's a lot of crossover with the stupidity of these two. So I, I'm just going into, because one, I'm 54. I'm four years older than this tard. Sorry. I know that's not a word you're supposed to be using anymore. That's, yeah. Um, but, yeah, I'm four years older than him, and it's like, oh, my God, you know, in, in, in just seeing him acting the way he does, which reminds me of Amber, which then it's like, oh, my God, what the hell? <sighs> he has so many hot takes of just pure stupidity. I, I just, if this I thing don't happens again, some harassment will take Let place me know, again. too, but if he's too loud and I, you can't of, hear quote, me. Harassment, end quote, was extremely overblown by the supposed victims. No. He, he, and that's what he gets, because he's a male. He's a man. He's a man. So as a female, when you're gaming, you keep your damn mouth shut. 
Because you don't want everybody in their uncle. Either they, they then rip into you like, oh, what are you doing a girl? You don't know how to play. You suck. Or they hit on you. So it's like, no, we just shh, quiet. We stay quiet. We don't do it. It's fucking idiots like him that run girls out of games. Yeah, yeah, you're right. She is Cartman. That's that's good. I like that. I'm not fat. I'm big boned. <laughs> Hi, Bruce. <laughs> He watches all my videos, and uh, he came by the other day, and he, I'm not fat. And it's like, no, you were. <laughs> you still are. Sorry. <laughs> Mind you, so am I. Uh, it's, it was like, it was just so funny. <laughs> we tried. We tried one year to get him dressed up as a uh, chef for Halloween. We thought it would have been the best thing. Oh, it would have been easy. Red shirt, pants, apron, chef hat. Couldn't get him to do it. <laughs> He's gonna come over now and bitch at me about that. By, you know, traditional video game media to make it seem considerably worse than it actually was. Yeah. Uh, men pose as lesbian women to get other women because they can't do it as a man. Um, I will say, uh, my ex, uh, one of my exes, I won't say who it is yet because I'd have to actually get permission to do it, um, is transitioning. But I know for a fact, she has always been very feminine. So it's like, oh, okay. Uh, but she's not gonna get the bottom surgery because it's just too much money and it's not covered by any insurances and she doesn't make enough money. So it's like, whatever. And that's been a challenge. That has been a challenge. Remember she, because I have always known her as him and it's like, Okay. See, I can't do spicy. I can't. I, I I just started to like spicy food, and it hits my stomach, and it's like, oh god, acid reflux, not fun. I'm like, I can't remember. I'm 54. And for the most part, there was so two. just so just so like those people that follow Nerfy, Nerfy. Is the same age as my son. <laughs> so it's like, yeah, I'm, I can't even, I don't even think I can call myself Mama D anymore. It's like, I'm going to have to call myself Grandma D. You know, it, it's like, oh my God. I don't feel that old. I don't. I don't think I look that old either. Though I do have the, the beginnings of the, the sinkage, but that's because of the weight loss too. Yeah, no, no, I get it. I get it. I, I understand that you mean hetero men posing. Well, that's catfishing. All that dumb crap with the guys posing as... Yeah, Rob got caught by one of those. It was a guy posing as a woman. And I was just like... I, I just, it's like, I raised, I raised both my kids to be like, yeah, sex is fun. It is. But it's not the end all of end all. I, you, you can't make your life based around hot chicks. I get hot chicks. I have sex every night. It's like, oh no, you reach a certain age and it's like, eh, yeah, hey, you want to have sex this week? Okay, cool. All right. Hey, you hot? You want to? Oh, okay. Let's go. You know, it, it just... It, your 20s and your 30s and kind of a little bit of your 40s it's fun and then it's like oh i don't know if my back can deal with it and you know my foot yeah it's like, or, or you're in the middle of it and a oh, cramp you know it's 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 not fun it's i mean it's fun <laughs> it's fun but you get older and shit starts to happen yeah no it, it was a shitty experience for poor rob because he was just like Oh, and then um, he had another friend, uh, was a friend of a friend, and he, he was beginning to seriously wonder, like, am I getting catfished again? And he contacted the other friend. They're like, no, no, she is female. But this girl just strung him along for years and years, and he just finally said, fuck it.
Uh, probably not. I am probably, I don't, I don't know where you are, Kim. If you're in Texas. No, we're not going to go. We're not doing, we're not doing Nerfies five hours. Uh, let's Major keep them going. With the I'll turn his game. volume down Number so we one, talk over him. The way that these game journals were, you know, reporting video games to us was corrupt. I mean, even the way we were doing it on YouTube back then was corrupt. Yeah, we it is. I'm 54. For I'm game like, reviews. Uh, we were getting wined and dying and flown out to, to play games like Ubisoft used to make Assassin's Creed and stuff. <laughs> I, I there is no way. This guy is dating a 20-year-old. And then they wanted me to post no. a review afterwards. No. And wanted to pay no. me to post a positive review. No. Of course, we all know the history. No, shows nothing said, no in common. That, right? But at the end of the day, that's the industry we were dealing with. And people wanted that to be fixed. Well, when it comes to... I don't know. I'm like, I don't know if I want to listen. This is They're boring. They're corrupt and as silly as they have always been. Still so obsessed with getting the clicks, the headlines, the things that don't get your shoehorned in. And I don't know why they did it. Because when you do that type of thing, when you write it poorly, and you make it stick out like a sore thumb, you're not helping the people you hope to represent. And that's the problem that we're facing now, is it all sticks out like a sore thumb. It's so frequently overdone. It's so frequently poorly written that you're doing it to service... Here, hold on, let me turn down even more. The thing is, is he's coming at it from this really weird angle where it's like, but no... It's it, it's like he does no study, no research, nothing into what's going on. And it, I, 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 mean, I agree with a lot of people. I'm very liberal. I am extremely liberal. I'm a live and let live. Do what makes you fucking happy. But it, it, it's like, okay, yeah, no. The, 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 when you look at the entire planet and you look at the diversity of the entire planet and you realize that the majority of people are hetero and they're not part of the LBGT, they make up maybe, I don't know, off the top of my head, uh, but they make up a small portion of the world. But then you have the diversity of different cultures throughout the, the, the world. But you get to realize if you're making a movie based in America, you're not going to have a lot of the cultures from other parts of the world, you're going to have an American culture or mindset. And then they try to cram in all these different concepts into one group of people. And it's like, but that's not how it works in reality. So yes, I do appreciate representation, but you can't put all of it in, <laughs> into a movie. You, 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 t you, you pick one and you go, okay. You know, it, it just that's what pisses me off about a lot of this shit. Yeah, you do have to guess. There's a, there's a lot of that, and I, I've recently been running into it. Um, I went up to a, one of my local bookstores, Bookman's. Uh, not the one that I went to and did a video on, but one further north. And there was a guy there, and he was like, yeah, he, he works, he works. I am him. I just like wearing dresses and I like wearing, you know, this stuff. And I was like, okay, because I am so, because I'm non-binary and I, I'm still she, I'm still her. But I'm always like, oh. I don't, I don't want to misgender, but I don't know, you look. So what I try to do now is just be like, you look like a male. I'm going to assume you're male. And then you can correct me if I'm wrong. Because one of my friends is dating someone who is trans. They don't look... Fe that was loud. They, they don't look female at all. Uh, it, 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 they're making no effort. And it, it's just like... And then they get so upset when people misgender them. And the only thing that he, 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 long hair. And I'm like, my son has long hair. He, he, well, I have long hair. I'm female. And it's like, so does that mean my son's female? Y y hair is not a, uh, I've never, I've never gone out on a date. <laughs> Ever. I, I, I mean, going out to the movies, hanging out. That's about all I ever did. Video games developed in the West, every game has diverse characters. And they will go as far as to race swap. He reminds me. They will go as far as to. And he leaned into it in his early career of the neck, really that, neck beards that hung out in so their mother's basements. That. Do this, it sticks out like a sore thumb. 
just did not know how to interact with women who didn't it's Kyle our roommate <laughs> that it just yeah it's, girls are hot girls are sexy oh 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 you know and it's like they 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 did the, the social cues and stuff and their brains aren't working mine don't work but theirs are worse and it's just like oh. And they don't realize it's because of how they act that this is why girls aren't interested because you act like you deserve. And it's like, no. Show me that one. That sounds great. Show me a perspective that I've never seen. I'm all for it. Yeah, my daughter's pad. The game has to be executed well. The character has to be executed well. Which drives her boyfriend nuts. At least I. It's the impression I get. Um. Because, I mean, so it should be like, oh, she's hot. <laughs> it's like... Or because you get funding, or because you think it's going to make the gaming journalist like your video game more. Sure, maybe those things are true, but gamers are probably going to dislike your game considerably more. Okay. For having done Yeah, no, my, my and issue it just, it, it's not is the... To do this stuff. So right now I'm showing a little bit of game footage from... The jowls from yeah, losing I'm the weight. I'm, on, I'm hoping if I lose more weight, they'll start to firm up. You know what I've been using? Really let go of Gamergate. They're always willing to call oh, to leave Osmond Gold alone. And I think it's important that we have content creators and gaming creators that are willing to just, just leave Osmond Gold alone. Um, oh, something my grandmother used to say is hemorrhoid cream will tighten it all up. And it was like, I just want to lose more weight so that I can know what the damage is. Plus, I'm 54. So I'm like, yeah, there's going to be... I'm not going to be like this anymore. And that's what's happening to Amber, by the way, is because she's not doing the collagen, she's not doing the retinol, she's not using this stuff. Um, it, it's it's all starting to go south. And it's funny because when I watch her videos, I, I never leave the comments in. Is You can see her filter like freaking out, trying to figure out, wait, 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 where, where are the lines in her face? Like, I don't know. I mean, he doesn't do it, so it's like, okay. And, I mean, he just jiggles everywhere. Holy jeez. And Asmon's one of the largest by a lot. Osmond Gold? Yeah, I love Osmond Gold. I wanted to quote here. Um, he said that cancel culture really can't cancel the game anymore. He said, I was Osmond Gold. You get three mean tweets I did a couple of raids with him but I'll take in, step wow, and say that he, he can even help sell long time ago. But the reason I'm bringing this up is because Sweet Baby Incorporated is the reason Gamer Gaze is ticking off again. And it's because they decided to go on the offensive. And I'll try to make it as short as possible because a lot of you already know what happened. But there was a uh, Steam... I have a really good friend. Um, and we, we crack jokes about, like, who, who would we go gay for? And um, I have a type. <laughs> I absolutely do, which cracked him the... F and he got to meet one of them, Gwendolyn Christie, who played Brianna Tarth. Um, and... If or Murray told her that he had a good friend that I would go gay for her. And it was like, yeah. Uh, Tilda Swinton. Absolutely. Um, oh, God, what is her name? I keep forgetting. Um, oh, Catherine, Catherine, Catherine. Oh, my God. Yeah. She played Elizabeth. She was also in Lord of the Rings. She played... Uh, how did I forget? See, this is my, my issue. The meningitis messed my brain up and my memory is... The synapses that connect so I can reach for stuff are broken. Um, Kate Blanchett. There you go. Kate Blanchett? Yeah, right? Am I wrong on that? Yeah, I can't remember the... The, the elf... The elf... Thank you. Yes, Kate Blanchett. Um, I was trying to remember the character's name that um, she played in Lord of the Rings. Oh my god, it's not clicking, and I am a Lord of the Rings fanatic. We've got Aragorn and Eowyn running around. Oh my god. Yeah, she played Hela, which is the daughter of Loki. <laughs> in reality. Well, I'm a heathen. <laughs> yeah, what was her name? Hold on. Wait, wait. Yeah, I know. She was... Okay. I, I loved her since she played uh, Elizabeth. Um, I studied history, uh, English history, 
I studied basically the War of the Roses is what I cycled down to, but it was the medieval period of England, of which now some of that stuff is lost in my brain. It, it's in there. I just can't get to it, which really bites. Um, Kate Blant. Why, 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 why is the name of the character just... That is like the worst thing. I want to say it starts with a G, but I don't think it does. Oh, she's playing... Wait a minute. So she did the voice acting in the What If shows. Yay! Which I've got to sit down and do the uh, last airbender reaction. Good lord, was it really that long ago? Oh my god. Now see, that makes me feel old. Going back and trying to find... Lord of the Rings or even The Hobbit. There we go. Galindriel. I was right. Galindriel. Galindriel. Gal... I can't wrap my mouth around it right now. Whatever. <laughs> yeah. I think Elvish names always the only one I could ever say was Elrond. What was it? Everybody else, I was just like, eh. And then I watched the, the, the series on Amazon, and I was kind of like, I enjoyed it, but... Eh. Eh. Yeah, well, yeah, she was, she was briefly...